back. Well, this last Thursday marked a very important day in the world of online and digital. It's World Password Day, and I can hear you sighing. Yes, Gareth, I change my password all the time. Like me, you probably forget it. Uh, there's many exciting developments, uh, but there has changed security and access over the past year. But sadly, we've all, to, all had to work from home. Uh, this global movement to work from home due to COVID-19, opening up a Pandora's box, really, of vulnerabilities in companies' systems, vulnerabilities exploited by cyber criminals. So what are the safe, safety alternatives uh, for users and businesses to consider? It's such a pleasure to welcome uh, to ENCA, the co-founder of Enclose Cybersecurity, uh, it's specialist Stephen Osler, who is here to uh, tell us a little bit more. Hello to you, Stephen Osler. Uh, it's a pleasure to speak to you. The reason I wanted to chat to you about this is not necessarily about changing my password. I've worked with IT companies in, uh, in businesses I've worked with before. Every three weeks, you must change your password. You must have a special character, all those things. And I will inevitably forget the password. The problem, however, is over the last year, we've all been working from home, logging into company servers, logging into company VPNs, uh, very sensitive data. Has that put companies at risk, do you think, by all of us working at home? Good morning, Gareth, and morning to your viewers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the challenge that we have with passwords is that, is that people are trying to rely on the complexity of one thing rather than, a, you know, the complexity of a variable of, of, of multitude things. So, yeah, we're seeing certainly in the last quarter, this first quarter of this year, there was probably a 50% increase in the amount of compromises in comparison to the first quarter of last year, of which password compromises, you know, con constituted 20% of that. So we're certainly seeing a lot more incidences from a cybersecurity perspective that specifically relate to password compromises. And, you know, pass you know, thurs last Thursday being um, World Password Day, it should actually be World No Password Day. Um, passwords is essentially the soft underbelly of an organization because they're so easy to compromise, whether it be through a phishing attack or just not somebody having a, a password that's complex enough. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big challenge. Let's, let's talk a little bit. Now, now, now you piqued my interest. Uh, it should be World No Password Day. How do we live in this modern world? I mean, I've got a laptop on set with me now. My phone has a password, a passcode, which I, without face ID, again, I can't remember my passcode. But what would the alternative be if no password? So you, you just said it there, Gareth. There are so many great tools um, in the market nowadays that give you the ability to password vault your passwords. And, and then you use mechanisms of something that you have rather than something that you know to, to essentially provide that authentication. And that's something that we have is something that is in our pocket every day. It's our mobile device that uses biometric authentication through your face or a facial recognition or through your fingerprint in order to provide that authentication. So, you know, the reality is, is that we use, need to use a, a multitude of different variables rather than one variable being your password. And that multitude of variables could be, you know, your facial recognition on your cell phone or biometric on your, on your, um, on your phone. Uh, just from the business side, Stephen, in the last uh, two minutes or so I have with you, uh, for large corporations, I mean, I'm talking blue label telecom organizations, their staff had to work from home, but obviously they would have had to have access to financial banking systems, to accounting systems, to data systems, and all of those, uh, they're housed in central servers, perhaps at the, uh, at the main building, wherever that was, and that data being transferred backwards and forwards uh, between my personal laptop, or even my work laptop, over my personal Wi-Fi, which might not be that secure, to a secure connection, a DNS essentially, on the other side. Has there been a problem? Uh, with, with hackers and, and cyber trackers being able to infiltrate that connection between my private house and what is essentially a very secure business server. You know, Gareth, what we're finding is, is hackers are no longer hacking into accounts. They're logging into accounts mm. because they're compromising their accounts through phishing attacks and things like that. And the reality is, is that is, is if you look at the nature of the type of attacks that we've seen sort of in the last quarter, they're not actually as complex as everybody makes them out to be because they're, they're, they're preying on the soft underbelly of, a, of an organization, and that is essentially the person. They're compromising a person's credentials and essentially getting the golden ticket to the organization. And once they have that, they can do whatever they want. Uh, and, that, and that's why we need to change this concept from, a, from using this, a multitude of variables mm. to secure those credentials. 
because, you know, the reality is in our industry, we used to say a person would have golden ticket if they had domain credentials to an organization. The reality is, is now they have the golden ticket if they have any credentials, so any password and username. So it's a, it's a big challenge that we have in our industry, and that's not just for, you know, large corporates. It's also for the every man, every, everyday person on the street. Stephen, I think I'm going to be able to squeeze this last question into you just in a, in a couple of seconds if you can. I know it's a loaded question. Uh, be that as it may, right now we're all still using passwords. I'm going to come back into the office tomorrow. I'm going to log in with a password. It should be no password day, yes, but uh, just some quick advice for those who, mostly all of us, have to still use passwords. And go. Final question. Yeah, so, so use the, the great tools out there like LastPass or, or uh, one, uh, Password One and integrate that with some kind of multi-factor authentication. We're using a multitude of different variables, and that's probably the best way to, to secure those passwords. So, so whatever passwords you have, keep them complex, keep them long, keep them secure, and use a second factor. I think that would be probably the, the, the quick, uh, quick answer.